Before I start the video, I want to tell you that I opened a new Discord server, so please join it in case anything bad happens to the channel. Also, you can chat in there. Link is in the description. Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'll talk about everything we know about season 14 so far and the next video will be about all the theories surrounding it. And I know it's way too early to talk about it but what do I do, we already have enough uh, things to make a video about. So let's get started. First of all, and this information was revealed way too early to the point that we didn't even knew if it's for season 13 or season 14, but now we know it's actually for season 14, which is that Maya will return. People thought that she will return in season 13 and that season will be a Kai season or something, but they were wrong, it's actually for season 14, which is the only proof to why people think it's a Nia season, which I'll talk uh, about more in the next video. But Maya's return was confirmed by her voice actors Jill and Michaels back in February or so on Instagram. So it's really cool to see her back since the last time she did was in season 7, 3 years ago and her role was minor so I wish that she has a bigger role in season 14 and I think that Ray will come back as well for obvious reasons. Vince Stone has very few practical uses, a line in season 14 episode, that's really exciting because it confirms that somehow season 14 will be connected to Master of the Mountain, which is amazing and we didn't see this since much of the Oni. I never thought that we'll get focus on Vince Stone but that's cool and I feel like that's something for Zane or Wu to say, or maybe the buyer, and speaking of the buyer, the reason why season 13 happened is because the skull sorcerer or Evangelist was selling Vince Stone to somebody who is called the buyer. When people asked Tommy Anderson about it, he said that it's very spoilery, which only means one thing, the buyer will be revealed in the next season. It's definitely a big thing and I can't wait to know who he is. Somebody on Twitter said that the Skull Sorcerer is one of the most evil villains we have ever seen. So Braggy Shud, who is the main writer of the show, said that the worst is yet to come, which means a future villain too will be even more evil. If it's in season 14, I don't think it's a good thing because you just got one of the series' most evil villains, but for season 15 or 16, it's okay. Also, Tommy said that the most beautiful shot in Jag will be in the next season's opening, which is something that all the creators says about their shows, so don't get too excited, it's just a marketing move. He also said that next seasons will have a lot of returning characters and reintroductions. And lastly, and most importantly, one ninja will change dramatically in the next season. Me and MB7 already did a video about this, so check it out if you want to hear my theory, but basically my theory is that Nia will be the ninja to change as it's mostly her focus season. It's hard to guess what will the change be, and but my theory was that she and Jay will be divided forever, which I'm most certain that it won't happen, but who knows. And yeah, that's it for today's video, thanks for watching, don't forget to tell me in the comments what do you think of this video and what do you think of the season 14 info we have so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share to the friends and I'll see you next time.